Yeah, starting your Harley Davidson during the winter time, I think, is a smart thing. Um, I'm down in Florida, but sometimes it's getting down to 30 degrees and it's raining out with 30 degrees or raining in 40. Or so I ain't riding this thing too much. Actually, I just got it sitting here, but I noticed, uh, you know, when it sits a while, oil from the oil bag will drain into the crankcase after a while. I don't know what that deal is. It needs to never do that, as far as I can tell. But uh, so I've been starting it up, and actually I think it's better to start it during the winter time. You don't need no 50 straight weight oil in the winter time just to start it up. You could probably get away with 1040 if you're just going to be running it for about 10 minutes. And I always put a little upper cylinder lubricant in the gasoline all the time. Uh, so if I'm doing like cold starts, it ain't going to affect the, uh, uh, you know, the pistons much or anything like that. Now the other thing too, I got this currently. I got this on a uh, Jeep, but I use one of these uh, specialized uh, trickle chargers, and that green light on this trickle charger. This is a great charger because uh, it was one of the first ones that came out to um, desulfate the batteries, and I've been using this on a one of the, a battery. Actually, it was from 1996. It's still good. So I got a high quality motorcycle battery and a bike. It's well over a year old. It's still good. Uh, so I use this trickle charger on it and when that green light starts flashing that means you have a fully charged battery and it starts desulfating the battery so I'll usually keep that on there but right now I have it on the Jeep um, the other thing I like doing too um, let me see if I start this up turn the fuel on turn the old key on and you see up here you got a voltmeter man I'll tell you what that stupid thing is one of the best damn things I got um, because it tells me the condition of the battery while you're riding and also if you go to start it if that's way the hell down here you know that damn thing ain't gonna start you know the problem is it ain't the starter it's the battery so but I've been running this every week just to make sure it don't get screwed up from sitting Yeah, I shut it off here real quick because uh, the other thing I like too, you notice those things sparking? I like those little gizmos because sometimes I wonder, you know, why the hell is this damn thing not starting, you know? And right off the bat, I can tell it's got spark because I can see it sparking into there. Now, I'll tell you what, that's one of the best damn things to have on your bike because uh, you know you got enough voltage in your battery when you go to start it. You also know when you're riding it, the thing is going to say, you know, up here around 13, 14 volts that you're getting a charge and the stator isn't going. And if it is going, that means you better freaking find a place to uh, go to and get it fixed before you get stuck out in the middle of, you know, BFE someplace. And the other thing is, if you're going to start it and you know what the hell's the deal is, uh, you can see your spark. Now, I'm going to tell you, sometimes you're, if you're going to start a bike, you can be flooded out. What you could do is, if you pull, you know, you can see the spark going. If you pull the wire off and you let it gap just a little bit, just a little bit, that'll give you more spark, a forceful spark in there. It'll actually blow off the crap on the plug a lot of times, unless the plug is totally, like, clogged up. But if it's just dirty, a lot of times that'll make it the plug hot enough to get going again because basically when you're pulling this wire off and you're letting it gap like that what you're doing is you're putting more heat on the plug it's almost like an arc welder you know when you arc electricity that's making the plug get hot and it'll clean it up a lot of times it'll clean it up that's an old mechanics trick so if you're actually sometimes you're out you know trying to start this bike after some time but I, what I've been doing you know that's a trick you can get it going but what I like is, be fat, you know, two things on this thing is that spark gauge, you know, basically by the plugs. I know they could be troublesome, but I got them set up so I don't think they will be troublesome. I have them insulated with tape. I got them on their rock solid. They're not going to pull off very easy. I don't think there's going to be any problems with them. But I could see the spark going into the spark, you know, to the bike immediately. And the other thing is, I could see the voltage of the battery and if it's charging up. So every week I've been running this damn thing, and 
since I started up in the winter time, I don't have straight weight oil in it. I got 2050. You could even run 20, 20, 1040 if you're way up north where it's really cold. And I always run some marble mystery oil in it in the gas. So it's got an upper loop cylinder lubricant when you start it up in the winter time so you don't score in those pistons or anything like that. So, uh, you know, my advice is why the hell mothball it? Start it up every week. Every week. And this way, you know it's good to go come springtime when you're going to go use it. That's that's my advice. But I you know, I'm going to repeat again. I love this this little bullshit thing up here with the voltmeter. It's unintrusive. You don't notice it, and you know you you know what's going on with your battery, and you know what's going on with your charging system. I think that's pretty damn vital for the bike. And I like that little bullshit thing with the spark down there. So you know when I turn it on, give it some fuel here. And you can see it's definitely a charging system is working so very important consideration no second guessing bullshit you know I love that I love this little bullshit gauge and that little thing there so uh, I've been starting this thing up every week so as soon as the weather gets nice and warm all the time I'll be riding again